Hey everyone, it's Lily720. Today we're going to be continuing with Spyro the Dragon. The level we're going to be doing is Stone Hill, and it's the one in front of us and a little bit to our right. So we're going to jump down and we're going to enter the level. This level, specifically Stone Hill, I think is actually where Spyro lives. I think I read that somewhere and not really sure I think the background matches um, the beginning intro uh, little intro video thing anyway uh, let's check our inventory real quick oh, 200 gems this is the first uh, level with 200 and uh, four dragons so let's get started these ram things they look kind of big but you can just charge into them they're really easy to kill. They kind of make a little funny noise when they die, like a little grunt. I don't know. They're weird. This level is like really pretty and kind of serene, but I don't know. I always found it kind of boring. Not really one of my favorites. I don't even think any of the dragons are particularly interesting. So there's stuff in that little... Oops. There's stuff in this well thing that we ran past. I think it's in that one. We're gonna come back there later. We have a huge treasure room here. And we're gonna run back around and... Oh, did we get them all? Yeah. Except this one stray one. Down. Okay. Here's our first dragon of the level. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> okay, that was Lindar. I think that's actually the dragon that says all those mean things about Nasty Nork. And kind of causes this whole thing because he pisses Nasty Nork off. But anyway, I think that's him. I have no idea. A life here. And a yak. And another dragon. So we may have done this slightly out of order. But I don't know, I don't think so really. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Oh, even dragons have their senile old people. Pretty funny. Anyway, yeah, we jump into this thing, and as it says, it'll take us home, but we don't want to do that yet at all. We're not even close. So we come down here, we got a little beach scene going on, and a key, a gold key, just like the one in Dark Hollow. And the treasure chest is actually in the well that I mentioned, I think. I don't know. Like I said, this level's kind of boring. I don't really remember a whole lot about it, but... I'm pretty sure it's down here. Or there's water and we'll die. No, okay, it is. Ooh, and there's a dragon down here. Oh, yep. Treasure chest here. These always give me problems. I'm missing, like, I don't know, 15 gems, and then I forget that there's a treasure chest, and I'm like, where'd they go? Watch the dragonfly spiral. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Okay, so he explains to us Sparks' colors, but we knew that already. I think that this level might have been intended to be the first one that you do, but... I don't know. I don't follow the game's order. I don't conform. <laughs> okay, and these weird shepherd things, you can... I like to burn them because um, I think if you charge into them, you kind of fall back. Oh, shoot. I thought I was going to make it. I meant to run around him, but didn't quite make it. I want to show off charging into him. Because I think you actually bounce back. Yeah, you bounce back. It kills him, but when there's a lot of them around, then it's 
kind of difficult. You can bounce into like another one or get hit by a yak because you don't recover, eh, excuse me, recover quite quick enough. And I think we got all the gems around here. So let's go up here. There's another dragon up here. My friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. And that was our hint on gliding! <laughs> I like the way the dragon talks. Um, he didn't really tell us anything, uh, not a whole lot we didn't know. Uh, we knew about gliding at the top of our jump, and um something else oh pressing triangle to just drop down immediately so it goes like this and then you just you press triangle and fall so let's get all the gems in this little structure thing i don't know looks kind of like a temple but i don't think it is and one more time just to make sure now this part of the level I really don't like because I always manage to miss one gem among the trees and then I have to spend like 20 minutes running around trying to find it. I missed these the last time I played this game. I had to make the effort, the conscientious effort to not forget them this time. And here we have one of Nasty Nork's minions, okay. I cut that a little short, <laughs> but he's supposed to run around and then you chase him. Those little blue minions are holding eggs. I'm not exactly sure how many of them there are, but there are some in... There's uh, almost like one in each level in the first three worlds. And yeah, they usually run around some kind of really large path and you chase them. And you eventually catch up to them. If you're quick and they're really slow, then you can actually just kind of flame them and then they'll die instantly. And it's pretty funny when they do that. And sorry, now I'm disoriented. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where the, how many gems do we have left? Four. See, this is what I hate about this level. There, there's going to be four somewhere among the trees. And I can't find them, and now I'm just wasting time. And if I don't find them soon, I think I need to edit out about a minute of this video. Okay, progress. Progress has been made. Two gems. Where are the last two? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, finally. Oh, that was an ordeal, and that was irritating. Okay. Now we're just gonna go back to the home portal thing. At least that's it, and... Sorry, I meant to get through more than one level in this video, but... Oh well. Uh, we'll just do... There's only one left before the boss level, so it's not really a surprise which level we're gonna do. It's called Town Square, and it's in the other half of the Artisan Homeworld. And, um, yeah, I guess this will be it, and thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.